What's going on YouTube? Um, we're still here in Alabama. This is my last day in Alabama. I'll be getting ready to head to Dallas tomorrow. Uh, it's been a good trip. I just wanted to talk to you guys real quick. I did another poll on Twitter and what you guys voted for was uh, the workout with my brothers. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get that footage just because uh, my little brother, he hurt his shoulder and so he wasn't able to do very much. So I owe you guys that one. So I'll make sure that I uh, either get him out, fly him out to where I'm at, or fly up and see him and make sure we get that recorded at some point. But with that being said, one of the other options um, that was on there that had the second highest amount of votes was uh, my role models for fitness. So I just wanna briefly go over that with y'all real quick. So for me, for fitness, um, I think my biggest role model at the time on a professional level is Jason Poston and Colin Wayne. So these two guys, uh, Jason Poston is an IFBB pro. Um, he's a diabetic. And so just like to see his motivation, his drive, and the level that he competes at being diabetic is absolutely insane in my opinion. Um, he's been sent to the ER multiple times through training. Uh, he's passed out multiple times through training for his, because of his blood sugar getting low. And to me, that's just really motivating just because he's, I mean, just absolutely shredded. He's still growing in the industry. He's still making a name for himself and he's inspiring others as he goes through it, which is what it's all about. So as from the pro level um, for the past year or so, he's been one of the guys that I follow that I really look up to. Colin Wayne is a former uh, Army vet. Uh, he also is from Huntsville, Alabama, like myself. He he lives in Huntsville. I'm sure a lot of y'all know that if anybody knows who he is. But he's really trying to change the game, in my opinion. I like the way he's doing it. Um, so I've been following him. I've been following him longer than I have Jason. I found out about Jason after watching the Olympia. But... Colin is really pushing to change the industry and go an honest route with what he's doing. So for those of y'all who don't know, um, he's actually launching his own supplement company. The official launch is, uh, I want to say, is this Friday. So it's this Friday, July 15th, uh, is the official launch. The supplement company is called Integrity Driven. So, I mean, I don't, I'm not trying to promote anything. I don't know anything about the line. Uh, I haven't taken anything because it's brand new. But I know that last weekend he was at the Europa Games in Charlotte, and then he's going to be in Nashville this weekend with uh, his team at the show up there. So Colin just being former military and just uh, doing thing, trying to do things in an honest way. Um, his supplement stuff, he's a hundred. He's honest about. He posts videos on his YouTube channel, and I mean, it's it's just one, it's a hundred percent honest in my opinion. So I just really like the fact that there's somebody else from the same state, that's in the same state, that's already achieved a lot of the things that I'm trying to achieve. So it's just kind of motivating. It shows that wherever you're from, it doesn't matter. You can definitely get there if you push hard enough. So that's my two major role models in the, I guess, the pro side of the industry. Colin's no longer, Colin never competed. He was a fitness model. And, but for as far as a down to earth base level, just everyday life, the people I talk to, um, I've got, I want to say four, well, I've got five role models, two of them being my parents, just due to the fact that they are my parents and my parents have always, well, they haven't always supported me. Uh, they didn't really support the fitness thing at first, but now that I've done my first show and whatnot, they're standing behind me hundred percent, but their work, their work ethic has always been what's motivated me and their push, uh, to try to make me the best uh, person that I can be. So obviously my parents, but these three individuals are like family to me. So I can, I mean, I can text them whenever they'll respond. I can call them up at any time. They might be a little bit upset about it, but they'll normally pick up the phone. But, uh, so after my first show, I was honored to join. I earned my spot on the Takeover Kings team. So TOK, um, which is led by my coach, uh, Thomas Canada. He's one of my biggest motivations uh, just because 
the, the guy's real. I mean, he is real. Like, he's not going to BS you. If you're doing something wrong, you're acting up, he's going to let you know. He don't care. Because a lot of people, they get upset about it. But, like, sometimes I'm like, wow, really, dude? Like, you going to call me out like that? But at the same time, it keeps me in line. It keeps me in check. And that's what I need because I don't want to be straying off and just being that average bum. Like, I'm trying to do big things. I'm trying to succeed. And so he, I mean, he he's a beast. Like, the dude is an inspiration all around just for everything he's done. But uh, that's that's my coach and then my two teammates. So uh, Rogelio, a.k.a. the Maniac, um, little... I mean, he just, he's a little monster. Like, every time, like, I love training with him, but I hate it at the same time. Because the dude don't stop. Like, I will be in so much pain and be so sore, but I will feel better walking out of the gym training with him and uh, my coach than training with anybody else that I've trained with, just because their intensity level is so high. Um, he won his pro card last year at uh, the Muscle Mania show in Miami. And so he'll be competing for in his pro debut this year in Vegas. So uh, he's already achieved that pro level of which I'm trying to chase down. Uh, so that's just real motivational to me. But he's always there. A great dude. I mean, funny guy. We always have a good time. And then um, my home girl. So yeah, y'all might not have thought about to name a girl. So she's the one who introduced me to uh, the maniac and the train, my coach and uh, my teammate. She's also my teammate, and shout out to her because she also just won Model Universe at the Fitness Universe show in Miami for WrestleMania. So my other teammate is Brianna Lucero. Um, she she's killing it right now, guys. I mean, she she work ethic is unbelievable, which is a trait that all of my teammates and my coach have, which is one thing I love about them because I'm trying to surround myself with better people like that. But yeah, so she just won that show, so shout out to her. But if it wasn't for her, guys, I wouldn't have been able to do my first show when I, whenever I did my first show. So I didn't know a lot about the whole competing side. I knew the basics about fitness, or at least I thought I did. So she put me onto my coach. I bugged her about it too, and I bugged him. Like working with these with these three individuals is not like it's not just handed out. You have to earn your spot, and Thomas will make sure that you earn your spot. So, but working with those three has been a life changer for me. Um, just on a, I mean, it's a, a growing experience and all, like just in life in general, not even just fitness. Uh, the aspirations they have are unreal. I mean, they make whatever they want to do, they make sure they take the proper steps to get there. They don't blame others for why they're not there or blame. Their, their past life situations for why they're not there and what's holding them back from doing this, they, they get it done. And that's what's so real about them and that's what I love, just because everybody else will find an excuse and they'll find something else that they can blame on somebody and say, hey, you know, it's my mom's fault I'm here, it's my dad's fault I'm here, you know, this is the life they gave me, blah, blah, blah. Nah, like, if you want it, go get it, plain and simple. So working with them has been a great experience. So, like I told you guys, I'm going to Dallas this weekend. I'm actually going to Seabury. So, if I'm able to, I'm, I'm only going to be there for two days. So, we're probably going to be doing a lot of catching up and hanging out. Uh, might go on a few adventures. She's a personal trainer as well. So, she'll probably be training some clients. So, it just depends on if we get any free time. But I'm definitely going to try to get some footage with her. Just so y'all can check that out too. Um, but like I said... Uh, those are my role models as of right now. I mean, I say as of right now, like it's going to change tomorrow. It's not going to change tomorrow, but this thing, like, your role models don't have to be somebody you look up to that's, you know, multi millionaires or they're the next pay grade above you, the next level above you. It can be somebody that's just as equal to you as long as they push you to be better. So uh, that's that, guys. That's um, my role models talk. Just. Make sure you're doing your thing. Don't, I mean, don't don't make excuses. Um, surround yourself, like my coach tells me all the time, surround yourself with people that are gonna better you. Surround yourself that are gonna push you to do the things you wanna do, not stray you from the path you're trying to go. Um, so that's that.